degrees Celsius. Where do you come from? One thousand eight hundred Fahrenheit. Glass is basically silica scent. Then you have many elements involved in creating different qualities of glass. You have soda, potassium, calcium carbonate, and so on. To make a decoration, now W is melting into this mass of glass these small beads. We call them murine in Italian language, and they are glass themselves. We are going to see what is going to happen, say, to them. Murano glass. Do you know what Murano is? Murano is a small island, not far from here. So when we talk about Murano glass or Venetian glass, we are talking about the same thing. And we are talking about a history of over 1,000 years. Since the very beginning, they are using the same techniques and the same tools. Uh, for example, pictures, chisels. And this is the most characteristic to the iron pipe. Even now, to become a glass blower, there are no middle schools. It's usually a family tradition. And they start studying and practicing when they are very young, when they are about 13, 14 years old. It takes you another 15 years before you are allowed to use the title of maestro, which obviously means master. Maestro is a technical word. It's like a maestro in an orchestra, because it means you can lead a group. Just to say that it's always a teamwork. In the demonstration, that can make everything alone now, but usually there's two, three people at least involved in creating one function. As you can see, it's very easy. So you can try the whole, okay? <laughs> when everything is finished, it's then put in another oven. In this case, this one. We're supposed to remain at least 24 hours, cooling down very, very slowly. Something so small, so uh, small remains there 24 hours. These items, they say they have two, three days. Don't trust me, you can touch. <laughs> uh, now let's go to the showroom, tell everything to viewers about colors and decorations. In the showroom, please. 